Greetings to you on this beautiful Christmas morning. Thank you, Wales Christian Radio, for the opportunity of being able to share devotions, not only during Christmas week, but also for the honor of sharing a devotion on Christmas Day. On behalf of my wife, Claudine, our sons, Liam and Judah, and our home church, Bethel New Life, we want to wish every listener a blessed Christmas. I trust that you've been blessed during this week by our devotions, and as I bring this week to a close, I want to share with you a few events from the Old Testament that makes reference and points towards the Christ. You see, the Lord Jesus Christ didn't just begin His existence at birth. He is eternal and He always existed. It was at His birth that He came down into the earth in the form of flesh, But Christ is not only seen in the New Testament, but also in the Old. Every chapter in the Bible, in fact, from Genesis to Revelation, every chapter, there's a reference to Christ and His sacrificial work on the cross. It's like a scarlet thread that moves from the beginning to the end. So whilst naturally we would go to the New Testament to learn about the Christ, we cannot fully understand the New Testament without reading through the Old Testament, since the New Testament actually explains the now unfolded message of the Old Testament. In the the Old Testament, there were theophanies, which were appearances of God to men, hidden in the Scriptures. For example, the angel of Jehovah that appeared to Joshua, who identified himself as the captain of the host, he is the pre-incarnate Christ. Also in the furnace, King Nebuchadnezzar recognized a fought man walking around the fire with Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And that fought man is the pre-incarnate Christ as well. We also have types of Christ in the Old Testament. We call this typology, which are shadows in the Old Testament, which gives us a picture of Christ and His work on the cross. In the Old Testament, we see different types of Christ through people, through places, and objects and events. All of these types or shadows point towards the Christ. Every lamb that was ever sacrificed in the Old Testament was a picture of the perfect lamb of God who was to be sacrificed on the cross for our sins. And as the Jewish people anticipated the Messiah... They anticipated a Messiah who they thought will come to cause a political revolt, a Messiah who was going to deliver them from political oppression. But the Messiah who was coming to deliver his people was coming to deliver us from more than just a political oppression. He was coming to save his people from a greater issue, and that was from sin that separated us from God, that, uh, which would, would ultimately lead to eternal death. So for years and years they waited. All of these types of Christ in the, uh, and shadows of, of the Old Testament, they unknowingly pointed towards the real Christ. Through the words that they spoke and the ev- events and actions of their lives, they unknowingly pointed to a Messiah who, who at that time was unknown and unseen to them. But now we have John the Baptist in the New Testament. He was known as the forerunner who was preparing the way for the Messiah. So whilst the Old Testament shadows pointed to a Messiah who was unseen to them, John the Baptist saw him in real. And after years of pointing to that which was unseen, Jesus now makes his appearance. And when John John sees him in real, he points to the real Christ and he declares in John 1.29 we read, Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. The arrival of the Lamb whose shadow was cast in the Old Testament has finally made his appearance. In the Old Testament, all those sacrificial lambs that needed to be slaughtered annually were but shadows. But now we are not seeing shadows anymore. We're not seeing types anymore. We're not reading cryptic clues in the Old Testament concerning Him. But now the perfect Lamb of God has finally arrived. That is why we celebrate Christmas. We don't celebrate Xmas as the world wants to call it, but we celebrate Christmas because we celebrate the arrival of Christ, the Lamb of God, who comes to take away the sin of the world. 
And as I close this Christmas devotion, I want to lead you towards receiving your greatest Christmas gift. I want to invite you to receive the greatest gift to man, the Lamb of God, our Lord Jesus Christ, who has come into to the world to take away our sins. I want to offer you an opportunity to receive the free gift of salvation this Christmas, an eternal gift that will transform your life forever. And if you want to receive the Lord Jesus as your Savior, you can, me you can message our dedicated church WhatsApp prayer line on 082 426 4009 or you can contact the warehouse christian radio team via the details that are on their website and you could get into contact with us through them or maybe in contact with one of their team members who i'm sure will be glad to assist you in making a decision to receive the lord jesus christ into your heart so thank you once again warehouse christian radio for the opportunity and once again, we want to wish every listener a Merry Christmas and a blessed New Year.